Hi everyone, this is HP LaserJet M140W. In this video I'm going to show you how to set up this printer, how to connect it to your Wi-Fi network and start using for printing and scanning. Let's go! I suppose your printer is already unboxed and all protective films from the body are removed. Uh, now let's open the scanning unit like this, lock it in the place and pull the handle of the cartridge towards you. Uh, make sure that you removed all the protective materials from the cartridge as well. On new cartridges there are two protective rings over here, so you need to just remove these rings and this orange ring as well. Just pull it like this. That's it, now your cartridge is ready to work. And Put it back to the printer, so make sure the text on the cartridge faces you. And align the cartridge with the printer's slots over here and just glide it down. It's very simple. Now close the scanning unit and let's load some paper to the printer. So open this lid. Uh, this is your paper, paper tray. You can see two paper guides over here. Uh, adjust the width of these guides uh, to your paper size and just insert some paper, it's A4 in my case, and align the paper with the paper guides, but don't press on the stack too much, leave about one millimeter of space and do not overload, do not uh, insert too uh, thick paper stacks. You have a limiter here, so make sure that the th thickness of your paper stack is uh, not over this limiter. Next, connect the power cable from the box to your printer and plug it into the power socket. And press the power button to power on the printer. The first start can be uh, a little bit longer than other starts, because you need to wait until the power indicator and the warning indicator to stop blinking, and on the other hand, the Wi-Fi indicator should start blinking blue, it means the printer is ready for connection. So, so far, just wait. So, it's taken about uh, 30 seconds, now the printer, as you can see, the printer is ready for connection and you can continue on your computer or smartphone. The best option to connect this printer to Wi-Fi is do it from a computer and after this connecting to any smartphone is going to take seconds. Uh, so you need to install HP Smart Application from Microsoft Store or App Store on Mac computers. Open this app. And in this window, accept all terms and conditions or decline uh, optional data. Do not send an extra data to Hewlett Packard. Let HP Smart access your precise location. This is necessary here. You need to click Yes. Uh, next, click on Add Printer. It's searching for printers. Now your printer is found in this window, so click on that, continue, and you need to connect your printer to Wi-Fi. In this drop-down, select your Wi-Fi network. And enter your Wi-Fi password. Keep in mind that you need to connect all devices to this Wi-Fi network to collaborate with this printer. So. Click on continue. Now you need to press and release flash and Wi-Fi button on your printer after releasing, please wait. So do it. Now it's configuring the printer. Now the printer is connected to Wi-Fi and to use this printer you have to connect your computer to this Wi-Fi network. Uh, you can use 5 GHz band as well, the point is to be connected to the same Wi-Fi router. So click on continue. And once again accept all or decline optional data. It's registering your printer. 
uh, and now it welcomes you to your HP account. If you don't have an HP account, you will be suggested to create it and you have to do it to use HP smart application. They really force you to do it, um, but it works because the app is really smart. It updates uh, the firmware automatically. Uh, it installs all necessary drivers, allows you to print and scan and uh, these features are pretty good in this application. So you need to create HP account if you don't have one. I already have an HP account, so uh, I'm logged in automatically on my device. And you can send installation link for this application to uh, all your other devices in this network. But I'm skipping this for now because I want to just complete this setup. Setup is complete. Let's print. Let's skip. <laughs> I will show you how to print later. Uh, so don't forget to create Hewlett Packard account. You can click on this uh, profile icon over here and if you are not logged in you will be suggested to create account right here then you can use these features print documents scan and so on but let's also connect your smartphone to uh, this printer on your smartphone you also need to install hp smart it's available both for iphone and android so install this app and open it uh, the same screen as, as on computer except all or decline optional uh, now sign into your HP account. I hope you already have one. Email, password, sign in. Allow to find devices on local networks. This is necessary. Allow to send notifications. So allow everything to this application. Uh, as you can see, uh, interface is pretty the same as on computer, so it's very easy to use on any device. Uh, tap on add your first printer at the top and tap already connected to network. And make sure your printer or your smartphone is connected to the same network as um, your printer. So my smartphone is connected to a different network. Let's connect to network this printer is connected to. Now the printer is automatically found, tap on its name and it's connected just in one second and you can start printing and scanning. Let's first of all let's print a document, uh, allow to access photo library if you want to print photos in black and white. So uh, you can browse your file systems, you can connect cloud services to this application like Dropbox and Google Drive. But let's just print something from files. Find any file we wish to print and tap on print preview. And now swipe up from the bottom to expand settings. Make sure your printer is selected. Uh, set your paper size. How many copies do you wish to print? Uh, print quality, normal or maybe we want best quality. Uh, go back and set page range. You can deselect pages you don't want to print or use manual input like this. Uh, and let's just print. Number one. Number two. Pretty good, thank you. You don't have to open this application each time you wish to print something because uh, let's say you need to print something from internet like like an email. Uh, in this case just open your mail application, select a letter you wish to print, tap on three dots at the top right, select print all and adjust your settings but the main point is to select your printer over here. So adjust your settings after this and tap on print, your document will be printed. But now let's see how to scan. To scan I recommend you to use HP Smart application, it's pretty powerful. And uh, I think this is the best uh, free scanning application i ever seen so far. Uh, place your document correctly in the scanning unit. So open the lid and place your document like this facing down and align the top left corner of your document with top left corner of the scanning surface. You can see the paper sheet icon here. So you need to align the corners like this and align the edges of your document with the borders of scanning surface. Notice your paper size. You can see paper size markers on the both sides and close the lid. After this, in HP Smart application, find printer scan option, tap on that. 
skip this tutorial i will show i will show you everything in this video uh, so first of all select what you're scanning photo document or batch of photos and documents then tap on this drop down at the top and set your page size it's a4 or just uh, select entire scan area uh, set quality normal or best color or grayscale tap on done once you're done then tap on this gear icon and you can enable all the enhancements of brightness and contrast of your image and all the orientation just in case if you occasionally put the document upside down like uh, and once you're done just tap on scan and wait for the result Now detect edges of your document. You can use auto detection, but it works bad in this case. You can adjust borders manually, dragging these corners and borders and select the full scanning area to capture everything. Uh, then tap on next. Let's close this pop-up. Right away you can add new page to your document. So tap on add and you can scan, scan the next page or switch source to camera that's amazing you can switch to camera allow access and now you can take pictures of your documents and automatically convert them into scans or just tap on auto here and automatically detect documents like this one by one very fast just hold still detect the document and put the next page uh, after i finish disable the auto mode and uh, tap on this thumbnail icon at the bottom right or switch source back to scanner and add more pages from the scanning unit and now let's go to see our scan results tap on this thumbnail and what you can do in this menu you can swipe left and right to switch between pages you can reorder pages tap on this button just tap and hold and then drag and drop to reorder uh, tap on done once you're done you can rotate pages you need to select pages you wish to rotate and then press this button to rotate them simultaneously tap done to save your changes uh, at the top right of each page you can see these three dots you can replace or delete this page or edit a page you can crop adjust uh, brightness saturation and contrast you can apply filters, add text, mark up your document, enable auto enhancements and cancel or save your changes. Once you're done, you can tap on share slash save or send fax or use printing shortcuts. But let's for this example, just save the document, select file type. Uh, keep in mind that if you wish to create a multiple page file, you need to select PDF format only because um, image formats uh, don't support multi-page so uh, file size actual or compress your file a little bit if you need rename your file in this window hit return when you're ready tap continue and now you can save to files so just normal menu on iPhone or Android device let's save to files press back to select location let it be in documents all right and save and that's it then you can find your file in your file system for iphone this is files application but let's go back to hp smart application what else one more cool feature in this app is smartphone copy it works uh, like camera scan but with the difference that, that instead of save button you have pr print button like this uh, also you can enter the printer settings tapping on its style at the top and actually that's pretty it now your printer is set up and connected you know how to use it i hope this video was helpful if yes consider to subscribe to our channel hit the like button any questions comment below and see you in the next video bye guys